Okay, part two now wants us to solve this quadratic. It says hence, so it must have something to do with part one. But if we were to just solve this quadratic, and in order to solve it, I would always go for completing the square. You can see we've got an x squared term, an x term, and then a term at the end. So I'm going to write that slightly different. I'm going to write that as negative 1 plus 12i. So we can see that's more, more one term. Or see it as more like one term. So in order to complete, complete the square, we're going to ignore that end bit. We're going to halve this number in front of the x, which is a negative 2. I'm going to take away the square of this number and I'm going to shove that bit at the end. That end bit can now be grouped together. We've got minus 4, minus 1, which is minus 5, plus 12i. I can now move all of this to the right hand side so it will become positive. And then x minus 2 is going to be equal to the square root of 5 plus 12i, which we've just worked out. That was equal to plus or minus 3 plus 2i. So x is equal to 2 plus or minus 3 plus 2i. You can work that out if you want. You actually got full marks if you stop there, but it's nice to have it as, as actual um, two complex numbers. So 2 plus 3 would be 5 plus 2i, or 2 minus 3 would be minus 1 and then the minus 2i. So those are your two answers for part 2.